we are trying to repeal. In a memo dated 21st July 2022, President Yoweri Museveni made ministerial changes. These included that of State Minister for Sports from Hamson Obua to Peter Ogwang. Obua has now officially handed over office to Ogwang during a function at State House Nakasero, graced by Education and Sports Minister Janet Museveni. Honorable Obua also leaves a legacy of advocating for, among other things, the development of sports facilities, especially the first tracking of works at the, the High Altitude Center in Terriet and uh, Akibua Memorial Center in Lira. He played a key oversight role in promoting the uh, construction works at the Mandela National Stadium. Najibubo also, additionally, we will remember him for his conflict resolution skills and abilities, which enable the amicable harmonization of relationships between the numerous sports federation. Similarly, the Minister of Education and Sports family welcomes now our new Minister of State for Sports, Honorable Peter Gwang, who is also a member of parliament for Ungariam County to the sector. And fortunately, I also know and admire his passion for the service of our country. We assure you, Peter, that you are an unwavered cooperation and support will be received by all your colleagues, and I'm sure it will enable you to acclimatize and settle in your new role. Obua served as a sports minister for 950 days, during which he prides in many things, but this not minus regrets. Phase one of Terriet High Altitude Training Center is coming to completion. But Mama, may you allow me to say thank you to you. As I speak, out of the 97 billion that was in the budget for the last financial year, Mandela National Stadium already has 80.1 billion towards fencing and kickstarting the upgrade. Peter Guang arrives from the economic monitoring docket but boasts a memorable track record in sports whose problems he says must get solutions. The sports sector has a potential to curb unemployment and provide a livelihood to the youth and boost the country's image as well as generate revenue from sports tourism. Mama, my focus and our focus to address the funding gaps in the sector, it will help us to identify and maximize the talent of our young people. Mama, increased participation has come with the increased demand for sports facilities. And like my brother said, I want to thank you and government for what it's doing. This is going to be an area of priority, Mama, for me and you, because without the right facilities, the sector will not grow to realize the full potential. Hamson Obua now officially starts his next call of duty as the government chief whip. John Burns Sentamo reporting.